this episode, I'm going to share with you how I leverage the full power of the Alibaba RFQ to work with the best factories without wasting days or even weeks of my life through filtering through thousands of applicants who are mostly an absolute waste of my time. My name is Carlos Alvarez, and I'm a full-time nine-figure Amazon seller of 15 years, co-host of the Wizards of Ecom podcast, and founder of the largest Amazon seller meetup group in the world. One of the easiest ways to find thousands of suppliers on Alibaba is to use their RFQ tool. RFQ stands for Request for Quotation, and exactly like it sounds, this is where you can put your special request in for a specific product you are looking for so that over the 200,000 suppliers on the platform can decide whether to weigh in and provide you a quote. A key acronym to remember here is GIGO, garbage in, garbage out. Applying this to RFQs means if you submit a garbage request, you are going to get garbage answers back from it. Fortunately, Alibaba does a great job at dummy proofing the RFQ process by sharing all of the fields that could possibly be relevant for a supplier to make an apples to apples quote for you. Perhaps unfortunately for most is that by giving the over 200,000 suppliers exactly what they need for your quote is going to result in what Techopedia calls the hug of death or absolutely more messages from suppliers than you could possibly imagine. The vast majority of these suppliers replies are, are going to be suppliers who are the not right fit. They're going to be trading companies, brokers, middlemen, even a sprinkling of bad actors that at best are going to hurt your chances for success or at worst are going to steal your money and crush your goals. This is what I do to make sure I only work with the best applicants while not wasting hours or even weeks of my life vetting each and every one of the applicants. The best part of this, for me at least, is that most of it's automated. First thing I do is I create a form with all of the questions I would like the applicants to answer so I can make an informed decision on who to partner with. I'm a fan of Typeform personally, but this is one of those instances when a free Google form would work absolutely perfect. I'll explain why in a bit. For example, if I'm differentiating my product, I need to make sure that I'm working with a factory who has OEM capabilities and not a trading company. If I require a small opening order, I can ask for it. If I only want to pay by wire transfer instead of Western Union or something else, I can ask if they accept this form of payment. Once I have my form ready, I write a quick bit of copy, copy and paste it to all the applicants who applied to my RFQ. My short reply thanks them for taking the time to reply for their interest and shares a few lines about my company. It ends with how my company policy requires all approved vendors to fill out this form so we can start working together with long-term cooperation. I then sit back and watch the magic happen. By the way, if you'd like to use the templates that I use for the canned reply and the form, I'll share it with you absolutely free in the link below in the description. The first large percentage of applicants will just not even take the time to reply to your message. And this means the company they work for is probably not a reputable one, or at best has horrible customer service and communication skills, so good riddance to them. The next wave of applicants usually includes some of the bad actors, suppliers not serious about working with you, and middlemen. These applicants will actually take the time to reply, but will claim they are unable to access the form to fill out because of the Great Chinese Firewall. In case you've never heard of the Great Chinese Firewall, it is indeed a real thing, and it restricts people in China from accessing the free and open internet that we all enjoy. So things like Google Forms are not even accessible. However, with the use of a VPN, people in China can easily bypass the Great Chinese Firewall and access the internet and your form. Look, I've traveled to China over 50 times. I know thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people in China have worked with hundreds of factories. And I can assure you that everyone in China who wants to do business with US companies has a VPN. A supplier responding to our CAN message that they cannot access our to fill out our form due to the Great Chinese Firewall is a huge red flag, in my opinion, and I immediately disqualify them from the process. If you have any questions on this process or want to share your own tweaks to this process, please drop them in the comments of this video and I will promise you, I will personally reply. I look forward to your comments. So I give this filtering process about seven to 10 days to sort itself out. And since I'm looking for factories, I filter out all of the trading companies, middlemen, and those who are otherwise not a good fit. Now I can begin building the relationships with the people that matter, negotiating, sharing ideas, ordering samples, and scheduling inspections with the best of the factories who applied without wasting a lot of time. If you plan on traveling to China to evaluate the factories in person, check out my video on how you can meet with hundreds of factories in just a few hours, plus how product inspections actually work and why you need one. I'll see you in the next video.